So last week I posted this video on how I fertilized the corn with my compost tea and it was just one of those little music playing in the background, I'm going down the hill and pouring the compost on there and everything. And then I get this YouTube comment. Let me read it to you. Other than feeding your vanity, what was this video for? I do not need to see someone tying and untying their shoelaces. To which my response was, I'll bet you also hate Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Anyhow, I have posted my compost tea recipe on the website at thesurvivalgardener.com and I've also posted other videos on how I make the compost tea. But today I'm gonna to show you exactly the kind of stuff you can put into your compost tea for some straight up anaerobic action. There it is. And by the way, to my critical commenters, I like you just the way you are. Now these are the weeds that I already chucked in there the other day when I was doing the string trimmer episode. There's not enough water in here, but it's already active and foaming down there. As you can see, it's alive. There are a lot of other things I like to add. The idea is to get as much nutrition from a broad range of sources as possible. One of the other things I like to add to all of my compost teas is some of this. Epsom salts. A couple of cups is good. There are a few other things we can add as well. This tree here is Lucana lucifala. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. It's a high nitrogen fodder tree from the tropics. Nitrogen fixer. And it's really good to throw in your anaerobic or your aerobic compost or your regular compost pile or just chop it and drop it around your other plants. Let's throw some of this in. Another tree I love to add is the Moringa tree. Moringa is very high in nutrients and it makes great compost. Another ingredient that makes a fantastic fertilizer that you can add, that you can make at home yourself, is called urine. But because it's disgusting, I'm not gonna show that in this video. But I am gonna show you a way you can make more of it. It's okay, I'm a Christian, but I'm reformed. So what else can you add to your compost tea? I've got a few more things. Once you throw in a whole bunch of ingredients, all you have to do then is throw some more water on top to make sure that the stuff rots down well and becomes a fantastic, delicious soup for your garden. Now, if what I'm doing seems insane to you, that's because it likely is. However, don't throw it out yet. The Koreans have been fermenting anaerobically all kinds of things, from vegetable wastes and fruits to even human waste for thousands of years and using it to feed their gardens. So if you wanna throw out this method and say it's totally nuts, that's okay, but you gotta take it up with Korea as well. And hey, I'm just one guy. There's a lot of people in Korea. And I have found that when you mix a whole bunch of stuff together and you let it rot, it makes a big difference. Just a second, that's nature calling. If you wanna get really fancy, you can also add manure. If you've got cow manure, that stuff is fantastic, but make sure it's not contaminated with any kind of herbicides because a lot of the manure, particularly inside the United States, has some stuff called grazon, which is a persistent herbicide that will wreck your garden for a long time. So if you don't know if the manure is safe, don't throw it in. What I do now is I just let everything rot down for a couple of weeks in the sun, strain it out, 
pour it into buckets, and then go thin it out and water my crops with it. I'm David the Good. Find me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Be sure to subscribe, like the videos, and all that stuff, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep growing. This is the new coat yellow.